Hi, I'm Jonathan Donnelly a Field One Post Digital Marketing Services, your one-stop shop for all of your digital marketing needs. On today's Spotlight Show, we're going to talk to Jim Mullen. Jim Mullen is a producer in New York City, working on such large productions as the Tony Awards and the Macy's Day Parade. Jim's going to talk to us about the importance of video in your communications program, as well as what you should think about when you're planning on doing your own videos. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get your alerts. I look forward to your comments in the bottom of the screen. So let's get started. So Jim, just get us get the ball rolling here. Uh, just give us a little bit of background about what it is that you do. Nowadays, uh, I'm mostly working on live mega events, even though there's not a lot of live mega events happening. Um, but I've been a producer and editor on shows like the Tony Awards for uh, 14 years, the Thanksgiving Day Parade for probably the same amount of time, 14 years. We've done Emmys, uh, American Music Awards. Yeah, what was the deal with the Thanksgiving Day Parade this year? That, was, that had to be a different challenge. Yeah, it was. So uh, we've always done it with CBS. NBC, of course, owns the parade, but CBS, it rolls right past uh, the headquarters on 6th Avenue. So we always just covered it. Um, this year, we threw together a sort of, they didn't call it a parade, but a celebration. And we shot it from the, uh, from the set of Entertainment Tonight with the host there. And we just looked back at all the floats and balloons from last year's and previous year's parade. So there's still a parade. It was just more like a retrospective of the parade. Yeah, I watched it. It was well done. Why do you think it's important that a business has video content? Video is, is the sort of real direct way to emotionally connect uh, with your audience. And frankly, uh, nowadays, I mean, there's no excuse not to have any. And, you know, it's as simple as pulling out your iPhone. Uh, there's multiple platforms that are going to support all of this, um, that are going to support video. So I think in today's day and age, there's no excuse not to have video in, in your arsenal of marketing. And I, I mean, I think people will actually go about shooting their own videos and, and trying to save some money there. But I think the, the, the smarter businesses will hire professionals such as yourself. Like nowadays, uh, when I'm doing some, some corporate work, we're thinking of the entire package. So we're not, say we're doing, I'm doing a recruiting uh, video for a financial firm. Um, we're not just thinking about, okay, the video is the end product. It's all the other wraparounds that go with it. What social media content, as long as we have somebody sitting in the interview chair, let's get some social media content out of it. What short subject, uh, quick little hits, that, you know, as long as we have the cameras out, can we make? So you're, you're thinking about the whole, the holistic project there. Um, and that's sort of one of the advantages you get when you can have a production team as opposed to just going out and saying, you know, I have an idea and, and you know, I'm just going to roll on it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think it's the challenge a lot of uh, businesses find is when they start to do their own stuff, they realize very quickly that they're, they're missing out on a lot of business opportunities while they're making these videos. So when they finally come to the realization of, I better hire somebody. Um, hey, Kitty. It's my assistant director. It's your assistant. <laughs> Very nice. He's in charge. Uh, yeah. What do you think, what do you think um, companies should look for when they go about hiring a uh, professional video producer such as yourself? Um, I think a, a a great thing to look for is diversity um, or diversity of subject matters that they've covered. Right. So you never want to be a one note tuba. Um, but if you can see somebody covers, you know, the financial industry videos, um, I've done educational videos for, you know, Columbia University and whatnot done television. You understand that that person is, is a quick learn because you know, they're, they're never going to be able to know everything you know about your business, but if they have a really diverse background in terms of the subject matters that they've covered, that just shows that they can learn information very quickly, process that information, and get that information across very quickly. 
Because you can imagine, you know, if you're, if you're talking about doing, you know, videos for a financial services company or, or something like that, you have to learn a lot about what they're talking about. There's a lot of industry jargon and lingo in there. Um, so finding somebody that has a, a diverse background in the subject matters that they covered, I think, shows that that person can process information and get the message across uh, quickly and well. Yeah. yeah, you have some some companies that are startups, mm -hmm. but maybe that startup has pulled together, you know, 10, 15 years of combined experience on their crew, even though the company is a startup. And then you have some other companies that have been around for you know a couple of decades, how does how does one go about deciding which way to go? So when it comes to that, I also say the same thing about length of videos, right? When people are saying, "I really like the video, but is it too long?" I say, you know, put your hand over the counter and don't and just tell me if it's engaging, if there's something that you feel is repetitive. Um, I would say the same thing when talking to video professionals. Put your hand over the counter of how long they've been there. Do they have fresh ideas? Do they have good ideas? Uh, have they shown that they can solidly uh, follow through on what their ideas are? So length of time is one thing, but that's, that's the sort of thing that you just get like duration medals for, you know what I mean? You get a little medal, like I've been in this for 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's really about continuing to bring uh, fresh ideas, um, invigorating ideas, approaching standard ideas for maybe a different direction to shed new light on it. Um, that, you know, 15, 20, 25 years experience certainly helps so that we can all recognize what the pitfalls may be, what the, what the uh, obstacles may be. And it's certainly going to help in a, in a practical sense of you, you've been to this race before, you know how to get through it. Um, but always just keep, keep an ear out for, are these people bringing really good ideas to the table? All right, so, uh, I mean, I think we pretty much pretty much covered why people should hire us. <laughs> <laughs> now start hiring. Yeah, right, what's the holdup? Um, so, uh, what, what do you got coming up that's kind of exciting that people might be interested in? Um, we have to figure out the Tony Awards, because they were gonna try and do them in December, uh, and then they had to kind of push that back because the, the COVID, the COVID isn't really, um, allowing that right now. So they're going to push it back till June. And that gives us six months to think of how to do this, but having to assume that we're in the same situation that we are right now. So let's assume COVID is still happening and how would we put together the Tony awards? Um, and that's going to be interesting if it gets better. Of course, it'll get a lot easier, but you have to plan for the worst. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think, you know, the Tony Awards is going to turn into a hybrid of live and pre-taped stuff over previous days and a much more limited um, audience. Um, they're going to have to be very creative, but they always have been anyway in how the, they uh, film the acts and the Broadway musicals and things like that. So that's the next big thing that really we're all trying to to think through and reimagine. I mean, how has the shooting changed uh, to the point where you really have to think things through before you actually uh, get to the shoot? You know, it's not just going out and shooting this stuff, but actually managing the campaign. And I think that's what someone like yourself with uh, a large amount of experience can do. So it's one thing to have all the footage and, you know, have everything available, but it's another thing to have the, the, the sort of targeted goal and managing the whole campaign as well. That's really one, the, one of the biggest benefits of hiring a professional, not just because they have the latest editing software or anything like that, but they can, they can kind of keep the whole uh, battalion marching along towards your stated goals, as opposed to just kind of making decisions on the fly. All right. I'm going to let you rock. All right, young man. Always a pleasure. All right. Have a good one. All right, take care, buddy. Bye.